Hi everybody, I'm out in the uh, little private garden here with our fruit trees and just want to talk about the peach tree and now as we're going into the pruning season I spoke the other day about uh, apples and pears generally on how to prune those and bring them down and control them. Well uh, the, the principle is the same when it comes to all fruit trees, Give them a, giving them a prune in the uh, summer or early autumn as I'm doing now and then going back and cleaning them up again late winter before spring kicks into gear and generally the late winter prune will have far less in them. The only one to not factor that into that whole pruning system is the apricot tree, which, well, we can prune that now, but not prune it in winter. You would be pruning that in spring as soon as you see bud swell and sap flowing through. And that's because to avoid any bacterial or disease getting into the tree because they're very susceptible to gamosis and other problems like that. Now with the uh, peach and nectarine trees, they're slightly different. We don't try and develop uh, fruiting spurs or buds, uh, but rather look for double, triple buds on the plant. And generally you'll find them on, you know, two year old branches. Sometimes you'll get them on the one year olds on the tips, on the, on the terminals. And I'm just having a look around here. I haven't done my investigation beforehand, but we did harvest a fair bit. Glasses are out and that's a bit dry to show you. And I'm looking, what I'm looking for here are triple buds. And they don't flower from the same spot each year, unfortunately, unlike the apples. They'll produce one, have a look here, this is it. This is the, basically the remnants of our spring calf fruiting season that we've had and harvested. You can see on either side the two buds that we had turned into fruit. And in the middle, we've got this tall sort of flat looking bud. So that's a triple bud. And I'm seeing over here, if we've got something similar, and you'll see on the terminal here, there are triples and the rest are singles. But here we've got doubles. Well, that's a triple there. There we are. And all the rest are singles on this one here. But over here, have a look at this. There's a double, well technically a triple is what we're saying. And that's where you'll get your fruit from this following springtime. And they're all over the place, all over this tree. So the aim here is to look for a branch because it fruits along the branch like that, not a little side spur or a shoot that comes out and then becomes a fruiting part. So it's on the actual branch itself. So when you're pruning back your tree, you're looking for healthy, vibrant branches, not one year olds, two to three year olds, but they have to have lots of good swelling on them. And unfortunately, the taller the tree gets, the older the branches are, and the more triple buds you'll find on them, but they're all up there. I don't want them up there. Now, last year we cut this right down to sort of head height, and you'll be able to see it sort of here. That was the last year's cut we've done. You can see all that new growth that's come along there. So it's a very strong, vibrant branch or, you know, shoot that comes off this side here. We've had a few on the other side. Now, I want to bring this right back down again. And first thing I'm going to do is just take the height out of it. And I'm not going to touch any of these younger branches here, the lower branches. So it's purely taking the height out. And I'm almost inclined because it's growing back inside there to remove it right at the base here. Now that's a big branch and I've got my lowers again. You can see you can barely get around it. I do want to remove it completely but I just might start by taking it down to here because we've got a couple of little shoots coming up that we may be able to work on. So a slight angle, and this is the low is number one, and we are through. That was too easy, actually. Done. Opening up the vase, getting rid of the, the, the height of the tree. These are gonna come down as well. I'm gonna cut that back down. That's a big shoot, I don't need that. Just gonna bring these back down to an outward facing bud just there for now. I'm just going to try and restructure this tree. So all that's going up there, no good to me. There's a triple bud here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'm going to cut it to that. Just might get one season out of that and then it's gone forever. And the same thing on this one here. There's another triple bud, just a little bit of an angle. And we'll just bring this down. So look for those double triple buds, work on those to bring the tree down. And look, don't worry at the end of the day, if you make a mistake, you cut a branch off, the tree will grow back as we know. It's like our lawn, you mow it one day, it's growing back the next day. Now the trees don't grow as fast as that, but they do recover well. Providing whatever you do when you're cutting it, uh, that you don't actually cause any further damage or allow any disease to ve venture into the plant by using dirty secateurs. So always clean your secateurs or anvil loppers, that's what I use on plants like this. And if we're standing here, we're saying, geez, it's a bit lopsided. Well, rightly so, because before we had the legal 
Gustrum growing all the way up at six foot plus, seven foot high, casting a shadow where this side of the tree never ever got any sunlight, or if it did, was very dappled light because of all the overcasting branches and leaves on it, uh, casting a shadow that is. So now that we've got the sunlight and the uh, Ligustrum is about to kick back into gear, we're gonna keep that down so we can get plenty of morning light and eventually clean all this little section here up because we have got a little bit of dieback. Just quickly show you, just, I mean, they're very little, diebacks, I mean broken branches like that, you'll see a little bit of dieback there, that's okay, you cut all that off. Even the tips of these are a little bit weak looking, so they're really not going to perform that well. But we'll work on that as the spring comes along. Now all I've got to do is the same on that side. Bring it down to a more manageable height, and then we just wait for spring to come along. And we're going to talk about spraying it as well on the monthly basis. Remember, the bluestone-based fungicide is what you need to control the uh, leaf curl on these plants. And for those who haven't been watching, get onto our YouTube channel and look for all our tree protection pages so you can see what I talk about maintaining uh, peach and nectarine trees for leaf curl because if you're getting riddled with that and you're not getting any fruit, it's because you're not following a regime of spraying for protection. You know, it's a shield of armour on it. So in the meantime, get out there, prune your trees. I'm going to finish off these ones and I've got a hell of a lot more to go on, as you can see. Check out our website, vasilisgarden.com. Remember to put your orders in for Click and Collect Everton, obviously Dandenong and Lethbridge. And we've got our buy one, get one free, which is going to finish tomorrow, folks. So take advantage of the great deals. You're getting one free at the same price for a single unit. So two for the price of one. From me, Vasily, Maresi. Thank you.